you of reporting this. I want to bring in uh, Lance Rosenfeld, the freelance photographer hired by ProPublica to take pictures of BP's Texas City refinery. While on assignment, he was followed by BP security, then detained by local police. He joins us now from Austin, Texas. Lance Rosenfeld, welcome to Democracy Now! Describe what happened to you. Uh, simply put, well, I was hired by ProPublica, like you said, uh, to augment the story that Ryan is speaking of. And I was taking photographs. Um, it was a two-day assignment, so I had various parts to cover, including um, basically giving a portrait of the town itself. So I had found a decorative Welcome to Texas City sign on a public highway south of town near the refinery. and. Um, simply put, I was taking pictures of that sign. I pulled off the shoulder, like I would normally do, um, of the public street, uh, walked over to the median, took the pictures, and then walked back to my car. And I was going to go back to my hotel to file the pictures, and I noticed that I was being followed by a security truck. So I needed gas anyway. I didn't feel like going, t letting this guy, you know, follow me to my hotel. So I pulled into the gas station. He continued on. Uh, so, um, so I thought really nothing of it. Then police pulled in and essentially, you know, blocked me in as if I was going to try to go anywhere and uh, got out, asked who I was. And they had got reports that I was taking photographs. And I said, yes, I'm a photojournalist. And they said, um, we need to see your pictures. And I said, well, you know, without a warrant, um, I don't feel like I need to show you the pictures. And um, he said, well, we can we can sh you can show them to us now or we can do this later with Homeland Security. Um, sort of as a it seemed to me like a like some sort of additional threat so because i was on deadline i made the decision to show him the pictures i just wanted to get this over with i knew i had nothing you know threatening on my photographs um, i showed him the pictures and he took my information me at this time the the security guard that was following me had turned back around pulled into the parking lot and he was a bp security guard um, and the BP security guard asked for my information as well, and I, I declined because he's a corporate security guard. So he turned to the police officer who had just taken my information, um, including my social security number, and um, gave, I'm not sure exactly what of the information that the police officer took, what of that he gave to the BP officer, but he gave him whatever he needed. And um, so, I protested. I said I didn't understand, you know, why that was happening. I didn't. I was never on BP property, and um, and so I, I asked under what what uh, grounds was he able to share my information with a private private corporation, and um, and basically I didn't get a, a straight answer. I just got well, this is Homeland Security procedure. We can call Homeland Security agent Tom Robinson down here. Uh, you know, if you have a problem with it. And I said, well, you know, I'm just trying to understand what, what legal grounds you have to do this um, because I was never on BP property. So uh, he said, well, I'll just call Tom Robison. So he called Tom Robison, who at the time I didn't know who he was, of course. Um, I've found out since that he's, he's a local police uh, corporal who is a liaison to the FBI and Homeland Security. So. Um, and he heads the, the local Joint Terrorism Task Force um, there in Texas City and I guess maybe the region. So, um, but at the time I didn't know who he was. They just referred to him as FBI and Homeland Security. They called Tom Robinson. He actually gave me the phone, which I thought was a little unusual. I, I, but, but my natural reaction was to take the phone. Uh, Tom Robinson uh, got on the phone and asked me what my problem was. And I, I said, well, I'm just trying to understand what, why this is happening uh, with BP getting my information. He said, you're staying there. Don't go anywhere until I get there. And um, so he gave, I gave the phone back to the police officer. He said, you know, you need to stay. And at that point, I felt like, you know, the, the police officer had looked at my photographs on my camera. He had determined that there was no threat and at this point, why was I being detained? I wasn't, it wasn't clear to me. So other than the fact that Tom Robinson wanted to come down. So he showed up uh, and basically approached me in a very, you know, antagonistic and aggressive manner. Um, he was shaking, he was worked up, he was loud, he was boisterous. He asked what my problem was. He said his main concern was my attitude. And, you know, all I was trying to do was find out why BP was getting my information. And um, 
you know, it was his antagonistic behavior that I had a problem with. I felt like he was harassing me. The BP security guard stepped in, and they both, you know, were trying to relate my activity as a photojournalist to terrorist activity, and, giving and Lance, various scenarios. Lance, was there any yes. a follow up uh, by ProPublica to fi understand why this was happening or under what basis? Because obviously, if you had been uh, with one of those automated cameras of Google in a car just driving down the road taking photos, <laughs> it wouldn't have been any problem, would there? I guess not. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, there, there was follow up, and the uh, the statement that we got from BP said that they were following federal law, and there was a there was a um, another statement that BP followed up with with once this sort of hit the blogosphere and airwaves, um, BP sent another um, a reaction to ProPublica that that gave the actual um, federal code uh, that they were following. So. And so that was my answer. I mean, there was, in fact, a federal code that says uh, BP is required by federal law to uh, submit a report to the NRC. Uh, my question then is, and I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer, um, but my question then is, well, if I was never on BP property and there was there were no infractions, I was not arrested, um, then still, why was BP getting my information? We're going to leave it there. Still unclear. And we're going to continue to follow sure. this from Texas City to the Gulf of Mexico, where new rules have been laid down for journalists, making it much more difficult for uh, photographers, videographers to get close to cleanup areas. Um, this is an issue we'll continue to cover. Lance Rosenfeld, thanks for joining us. Freelance photographer was working for ProPublica and Ryan Knutson for your piece, um, the latest piece, BP Texas Reform.